Aegean Sea. The Aegean Sea is part of the Mediterranean, so we start with the Mediterranean. Here in front of you, you see the outline of the Mediterranean Sea. Now, one part of that Mediterranean Sea is going to be called the Aegean Sea. Geographers have divided the Mediterranean into the Western Mediterranean and the Eastern Mediterranean, and they have used Italy to do it. Everything from the east coast of Italy over to Turkey and the Levant, which is the Lebanon and Israel today, are the eastern Mediterranean. And everything from the western coast of Italy out to the Atlantic is the western Mediterranean. The Aegean is in the eastern Mediterranean. Actually, what geographers have done is, because the Mediterranean is such a big sea, they divided it into subparts. And just to make it difficult for you, they've called each one of them a sea also. So, here you see some of the most important subparts listed with their names. Down here, you see the Sea of Crete above it the Aegean Sea, the Ionian Sea, and the Adriatic. And those are the important seas that we need to really know. Here, we put a blue box around the Aegean Sea on a map of the Mediterranean Sea. What's inside that blue box is the Aegean Sea. Now let's move in a little closer, and you can see that the Aegean Sea is uh, sort of surrounded in many ways. On the left of the map, you see mainland Greece. At the top of the map, you see the extension of Greece as it goes out to the eastern border of Europe. Then you see Turkey which comes clear down along there. And then you see a series of islands like Rhodes and Crete that come back and finish surrounding it. So the Aegean Sea is surrounded by the land of Greece, Turkey. In ancient times, all of that land was actually Greek. And so here you can see all of the, the reddish orange and all of the purple is Greek. So as I said, you can see the Aegean Sea is then inside all of that orange and purple. Here's what it looks like if we look down on the Aegean Sea using Google Earth. Notice all the islands there. Notice all the islands. Let me go back. See the islands and they're all orangish colored here, because they were all occupied by the ancient Greeks. And today these islands are also occupied, almost all of them by Greeks. And so Greece is made up of not just the big land mass of Greece, the mainland, but all of these islands in the Aegean. And in the Greek mind, in the Greek mind, the Aegean Sea the sea itself is part of Greece because their people live on these islands all throughout the Aegean Sea. In the ancient times that we talk about, the Aegean Sea is going to be supremely important. It's where most of the Greeks sailed their ships. It's where they did most of their trade. And in fact, it's where almost a third of the ancient Greeks lived, on the Aegean islands and over onto the edge of, of what is modern Turkey. So the Aegean, remember, in the Greek mind, the Aegean Sea is part of Greece. The Greeks think of Greece as part land and part islands out of the Aegean Sea, and the sea is part of Greece.